Mail merge is used to print form letters to multiple recipients. Create a letter in mail merge from MS Access using word merge. You can use any table or query which has address data as the data source for the mail merge. Right click on the table you want to use as the data source. Click on export. Select word merge from the shortcut menu or click on word merge in the external data tab. Microsoft Word Mail Merge Wizard opens. You can select whether you want the wizard to link your address data into an existing Word document or to start with a new blank document. Select create a new document and then link data to it. Click on OK. Word starts and displays the mailings tab and the mail merge pane. In the mail merge pane, at the top is the heading describing the action in that step. Below you can see which step are you currently on and total number of steps. Work through the wizard steps by clicking the next and previous links at the bottom. Now you are on the first step, select document type. Select letters. Click on next starting document to go to the next step. Select use the current document. Click on next select recipients. You don't need to select the recipient list. The recipient list was determined when you selected the table in access. You can fine tune the list by clicking on edit recipient list. You can remove individual recipients from the merge by deselecting the checkboxes. You can apply filters or sort the list so that letters print in that order. Click on next write your letter. Write the letter unless you are working with an existing document. Place the cursor in the document where you want the address data to appear and click on address block. Greeting line or more items in the mail merge pane to insert the access data into the document. Click on address block. Word gives a preview of how the address block looks. See that the state is missing. Click on match fields. You can see that the state field is not matched. This happens when you use field names that Word does not recognize. Now select the matching field from the drop down and click on OK. Now you can see the state in the address block. Click on OK. Word inserts a placeholder for the address block. Click on greeting line to insert a greeting. Select the first name. If everything looks good, click on OK. All these commands are available in the mailings tab if you need to change anything after going through the wizard. Click on next preview your letters. You can preview how the merged data will look when you print the letter. Click on next and previous buttons to see other recipients. You can edit the recipient list by clicking on edit recipient list. You can also exclude the current recipient by clicking on exclude this recipient. Click on next complete the merge. Click on print and select all. Click on OK. Select the print options you want. 
If you want to edit individual letters by merging to a new document, click on Edit Individual Letters. Select All and click on OK. A new Word document opens with all the letters merged into one document. You can edit, print or save the document. If you are not making any changes, close it. Click on Don't Save. Now save this document. When you save the mail merge document, it stays connected to your mailing list for future use. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.